Okay, I'd just like to show you a few of the things that God can do, and by doing so, show you how you can show them to a deaf dog. Quite reliant upon touch, vibration, as well as visual signs. So here he is now, nice and relaxed on the floor, and I want his attention. Because he's very relaxed, I'm not going to stamp the floor a couple of times. I'm just going to move the lead slightly, and he's going to get up because I've moved the lead, and I'm going to reward him for just looking straight into me as soon as he felt that double tug. I taught him that, much as you load the dog up for a clicker. Double tug, tree, double tug, tree. So now whenever he feels that double tug, he can turn around and look at me. So the double tug is useful with loosely walking to gain the dog's attention for a look back at me and in recall and for gentle waking while they're on the lead. To teach a sit to a deaf dog is the same as you would with any other dog. Find yourself a lovely treat. Pop it on your dog's nose, move it backwards and upwards, being silly because I've got a treat, and pop the treat in their mouth. Eventually, that feeling of the treat becomes the hand signal. Good boy. Same as you do with a dog that has hearing. And to move that into the down, Luring them down, which is the tree right under their nose so that they don't have to get up to take it, and then releasing them straight away initially and building up the time that you would leave them on the floor slowly. Okay, so some loose lead walking. Again, I gave the dog's attention just to keep it with me and it's had no training at all. Nice loose lead. Initially, it is just following the nose on the treat until eventually. It doesn't have to be stuck like so, it's like this. So, as with any dog that has hearing, it's something you build up a few steps at a time with lots of positive reinforcement. As with any training with any dog, they need to know when they're getting it right. And eventually that treat isn't going to be coming every 30 seconds, every one minute. So you need to associate a sign with that, and I use the thumbs up as good boy. When your deaf dog first comes to you, whether it's a puppy or an adult dog, you work nice and closely with them at first. Literally make a gentle touch and they turn around, you reward them for that, a treat, a farce again. So within the home, you might just tap on him a couple of times, he knows to look at me, and that's on his shoulder or his rump. So in the home, I can do such and such, and straight away he comes round to me. And that's the way to initially build up that the dog checks in with you. If your new deaf dog is coming into the home and it is the only dog, then to reach them at a distance, you have to use other methods. If the dog comes into your home and you have other dogs, the dog will learn recall coming back with the other dogs, and you can just give a big visual sign when it does. Because he's deaf, he needs to know he's doing well, as any dog does, and I use a thumbs up for that. So if we're out on a walk with a new deaf dog, any time it looks back at me, big smile, thumbs up, nine times out of ten, they come all the way back, so they can have a fuss or a tree, and you release them again. It takes no longer to teach a deaf dog basic obedient commands than it does a dog with hearing. You just perhaps have to think a little bit outside the box. If I have a lone deaf dog, or one that's not paying attention to the rest of my dogs, then it doesn't get let off lead. It will be wearing a harness, and a nice long training line, and I will build up the recall initially, taking advantage of times the dog offers me, calling it in when it's already looking at me, calling it in when it looks like it's coming anyway. And then I can build it up further from that, because I will build up on the check-in, check-in, so then the dog is always looking to see where are you going? What is it you'd like me to do next? A lot of trainers and vets and breeders still think a deaf dog should not be alive, and therefore they will not deal with them. However, if you can find any good, positive enforcement trainer, they will be able to help you with your deaf dog. It's all about positivity. It's all about the dog enjoying it. It's all about the dog getting it.